Good evening, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Gwen with Crafty Lady Designs. I've been a busy little crafter. I uh, have taken another uh, Mrs. Cog's uh, course, uh, Teachables. Uh, I hadn't taken this one. I've made traveler's notebooks. I've made several. I bought several as well. Uh, but these were real unique and, and real interesting, and I love her courses, uh, and they're so informative, and, and they offer other things as well that you could utilize with other projects. I have a little cheat, <laughs> cheat notes here. So I made two of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've made two of them, and they are both fabric covered, uh, and they are made, the basis is the heavy, heavy duty file folders. Now, if you take the course, the, I think the only place you can get the real heavy ones are on the shelves of, at Walmart, which I've used before with one of uh, with one of Mrs. Cobb's um, tutorials. So I've made two. They uh, both measure the same. As I say, I got a cheat sheet. They're five and a half uh, wide by eight and three quarters long. And we'll go inside and go through them. They're both covered with fabric, and I'll go one at a. This is covered with hemp. I love it. I ordered this. I looked at hemp at uh, Joann's and different places, and people use it for uh, embroidery, cross stitching, etc. Now I used to do all that, and I think this is really lightweight. But that's for that type of thing. In fact, there was a comment online because I bought this through Amazon uh, where a lady loved the fabric but it was too lightweight for her embroidery what she wanted to do so the upshot is I covered this now it's not real heavy and uh, I spray I use a, a, a spray adhesive on my books uh, and a sp I, I had a, a major problem one time with a fabric covered book. I bought this real expensive fabric, really liked it, on and on and on. And I thought it was heavy enough, it would be okay. And I used uh, Fabri Tac on it. And there again, you know, I may have used too much. I didn't spread it out. I've learned some things, but it did bleed through. And I was very disappointed. So I have been using uh, spray adhesive. I've had good luck with it. I've not had trouble with it. Knock on wood. Uh, and especially the light, lightweight fabrics. So the hemp is not real heavy. Um, I have it in three colors. It comes in this kind of a tan and an ecru and a white. Uh, and this is fabric that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's just, it's out of my comfort zone, I think, but it's so cute. Um, it's just real modern and up to date in Paris and New York and fashion and, and whatever. Uh, I think one of one of Mrs. Cogs was a fashion too, kind of inspired me. So the upshot, I did. I primarily did what she did, even the front and whatever. I kind of copied that as well. Uh, and as I say, we'll go through it. There's um, all kinds of things, and I put charms on them, and and I'm gonna quote something she said about the charms and I do agree about that so let's get into the nonsense and we'll do one at a time uh, they are traveler notebook size now this one is the hemp they're elastic two, the two millimeters elastic band I've got a little Tim Holtz metal piece on here 5182 whatever as you, as you can see oh Okay. Now, the thing that, that she mentioned and is true, I always, I have charms on my real whatevers. If you don't have it on both sides, you got to be careful putting the elastic on and off because it can flip over. And, on, and I agree with that, but it's okay. Now, the bottom is, is a piece of uh, uh, cardstock with a piece of lace on it. And then this is a Tim Holtz metal piece that it says, enjoy the journey now i have an old old i think it's french a huge uh book on advertisements i've had it for years i bought it at a thrift shop and i've cut some out and this is and now they're all in french i can't but these are this is an automobile car uh, and it's got progress on it and it's an old sports type car 
uh, let me pull this off and uh, and what I did I just backed it uh, I'm gonna have trouble with it I just backed it with a piece of cardstock and then I don't know if you can see it but I zigzagged all the way around uh, which I really like I, I took this as cardstock and I put a piece of lace on it I, I went to Joanne's the other day and bought a bunch of stuff I have a new sewing machine I have another new sewing machine that is a long story I bought a brother's sewing machine about nine months ago and it died in nine months but the upshot is they made everything right I went to a dealer this time and I bought a new uh, a new brother which I it's a, several upgrades but the upshot is I really really like it so anyway I zigzagged with my new machine all the way around I kind of used that I don't know if you can see I used a tight stitch and I I know that was a question that uh, Mrs. Cog had, and I've done that on my own, but she made mention that it's a narrower zigzag. It's not a standard. When you set up your machine, you turn it on, it's some zigzag, it's a wide whatever. And I've set this up, uh, of course, every machine setting's different, but it's a more narrow zigzag and a closer uh, zigzag. So it makes it's not a satin stitch, not, not quite. That's how you do a satin stitch. But it is a close. So the front of it has the car mounted on a piece of cardstock with a piece of cardstock with a piece of uh, um, lace with a little metal plate. The back of it is just plain. It has a, a three hole. Uh, I can't get used to this. I really can't. I'm having a terrible. Uh, four holes. One, well, it's three sections. Two holes on the top, two on the bottom, and one in the center, which have uh, grommets in it. And they are made with uh, the heavy, heavy cardstock. I don't know if I've got my autofocus on or off. I think I've got it on. I think I'm supposed to have it off. I don't know. So let's go inside when you open it up. Now there are, they're not signatures, they are uh, inserts. There are two elastics opposed to, I think, three elastics on seven. So there, there's uh, this insert, and it's just plain white paper. Then I made, I made a file folder. I took a file folder and made a file folder, and this is just got some. In, we'll, we'll go through that as well. That sits inside the first insert with the first, the first elastic. Then we go to the second elastic, and we have another insert. It's just plain paper. Uh, I made these. I made the inserts. Now, on the other one, they're bought, but I made these inserts with, with green cardstock and 24-pound typewriter paper, copy paper. And then we go on. We have another file folder that I made as well. Uh, this is made with... I had to make this one a little bit different. The file folders, you usually need a 16 inch long piece of cardstock which is you know that's why a file folder quite frankly is good to use to make the file inserts this I made with 12 by 12 uh, oh, uh, cardstock but I had to re I had to revamp it here and add those on which is okay but because uh, it's hard to find you know well you can't find well yes you can you can find uh, file folders that are De in fact, I watched a little uh, tutorial today where she used decorative file folders, folders to make the inserts. So that goes inside the second uh, insert. So we have three inserts and two file folders and two elastics. Now, this is all fabric on the inside as well. This is the duck on the outside. That, no, I have to take that back. This is the hemp on the outside, not duck. Hemp. The inside is uh, Tim Holtz's fabric. Uh, it's part of his collection, his paper collection, you can see. Now, I've used that several times, and the first time I used it, I covered a book with it, and it worked fine. It was just, in my opinion, uh, a little thin. So I've since made another book with it, and what I did was take that iron and bond the iron and bond and secured another piece of uh, I gotta turn this off secured another piece of uh, oh uh, 
fabric on the back of it, real thin fabric with the bond. So what I did on this, I of course covered my file folder like you do, like you cover any book. Uh, and then I took the uh, the bond and not bond and seal. Uh, oh dear, the iron and seal or the iron and bond, iron and bond. And I used it on the material, on the fabric, which gave it body. Then when you tear off the back, then I ironed it on the inside of my book. I didn't use glue. I Well, I didn't need to because when you remove that paper, after you iron it on the fabric and you remove that paper, that's glue. So I ironed it all to, to the book, all the way through. I really, really like it. I made two pockets, one on the front, one on the back, and this is Mrs. Cobb's uh, tutorial, and it's made with uh, canvas, canvas material. Now, I used one on another book that I had canvas in and had a bond on the back, a paper bond. In fact, I've, I've already shown that uh, on, on here on YouTube. Uh, you couldn't fray it. It's steady, stable, it's, and I used it. I used picking shears on. Well, this is just the fabric. This is just like a duck uh, material. It's not real heavy, but it's it's heavy enough. And I made a pocket, and I used, uh, of course, this black trim, which correlates with everything in the book, which I bought at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it is one of my favorites. I have it in various colors. The I think it's the uh, ecru and the cream and, and the black. These are little cards, the cut aparts that I took out of the graphic 45s. Uh, oh dear word, I will apologize. It's it's an old graphics 45. I have used it a lot, and the colors correlate with the book, and it's kind of a modern type thing, and and it's got the race car and whatever. So I made a, a, a card out of that, an insert. This is another card. Uh, now this came out of the old advertisement. Like this is a huge book on old, old advertisement of various things. Uh, this has a car on it. Uh, it says Paratrout. Uh, oh, I see I can't read it. It's a uh, uh, it's an automobile with a woman that looks like Isadora Duncan. Isadora Duncan. I'm going to do a book on Isadora Duncan. She's got a scarf around her neck, fly, neck flying on the uh, in a convertible. That's how Isadora Duncan, who was a dancer back in the day, way back, was killed. And I'm going to do a book on her. Because um, she's real interesting. So that's a pocket. Then we go into, as I say, our, our folders. And they just slip in and out. And this slips in and out as well. This is another cut apart uh, from the uh, old uh, collection, uh, uh, Graphic 45, which has always been my favorite paper. Here's another cut apart. It has a uh, flamingo on it, and it's the color. It's, it's kind of more of a modern whatever, and it kind of correlates with the, the theme of the, of, the, of the Traveler's Notebook. Uh, that's your first one. Here's your second uh, insert. Uh, and there is just plain paper, 24 pound uh, copy paper. And then on the inside of your second insert is the third insert. You do you set it inside the other one. And then inside that is the second file folder. And I made this, I made both of them. And I made this one. Now this one, because I use 12 by 12 paper, you really need 16 by 12, I think. But, which is for, uh, a file folder opened up uh, allows you the measurements. So what I did, I just cut my dimensions on this part, and then I cut the these uh, out separately on another piece of cardstock, and of course did a, a hinge and, and glued them down. This again is another uh, you could write and journal on this. It's got pretty paper on the back um, because it's all double sided paper. You could do some journaling on this as well. And here's another one with journaling lines that you could journal on. And this is, uh, it says stick to the plan. This fits down in our little file. So you could store all kinds, coupons and 
on and on and on. Uh, and there again. Now, oh, and here's a pocket in the back. It's just like the pocket in the front uh, with a, with another one of the uh, artisan. I think artisan was the name of the uh, uh, paper uh, paper line. This is just a uh, ABCs. This is out of uh, some downloads, and I think they're Mrs. Cog's downloads. They are Mrs. Cog's downloads. This is a lady, and uh, oh, I'm just almost sure. No, I take that back. This is one out of the advertisement book. I take that back. But I do, and the other one, all Mrs. Cog's pictures. So that is the inside. Of course, the back is just plain. You can see the texture of, I will apologize for the, i got a window open. You can see the texture of the hem. I love it. I just, and it is thin. Now, if I'm going to use this, putting this on, and I use spray adhesive. I cut it, I cut it to size with the folder open like so. And I cut it to size with about an inch perimeter all the way around to cover the book, to fold up and, and close it. Um. And when I sprayed, I sprayed the file folder, and I had the material laying on my table, and I sprayed the file folder and laid it down on top of the fabric, and I used a roller. Uh, now, if I were going to take this and by itself and use it on a book cover like I did Tim Holtz's that was so thin, and I've shown you that one as well. I think I would do, uh, well, I know I would. I would do the uh, uh, the ceiling type thing, uh, the iron-on, the iron-on uh, on it first. And then I would attach it to, now for some reason, I find that's going to, and it may not. I find that's going to be different, but I do think it is. Because you're going to have a, a spine, you're going to have a, either a, a, a chipboard spine, or you're going to have to have or, or another type of spine. This is just all one piece. So I think this will lift itself to do it this way. And I'm going to try it because I love the material. I add, I'm going to make several out of it. So this is the first one, and it is called Explore with the automobile. Look at that car. Is that not so isn't that gorgeous? With it says enjoy the journey and it is called explore i'm going to put these i'm going to put these on my etsy shop now when you <laughs> when you bring your elastic like so there you do it a certain way i'm sorry you do it a certain way so if you have a one-sided which i do mrs cox said she started using uh, charms and have two sides so that way you don't have to mess with it and of course there's your uh, there's your grommets in your in your holes sturdy sturdy now you can add more she has one that she added nine uh, inserts to uh i think i have i've got a button oh dear one that i i do as well yeah i'm not a journaler i'm really not i uh I try and I start. I do belong to a book club and I keep the minutes and I send out the newsletters and I do use my journal for that as well. Uh, you could use it for a photo journal. Uh, now there are the small ones. In the course, she makes two sizes. She makes the traveler size and then she makes the small size. Um, I made the cover. I covered the, uh, the base for the small one. I just haven't finished it yet. So this is the first one, and it is called Explore. I'm going to have these on my Etsy shop. So I'd like some people to go look at my Etsy, Etsy shop. Not that old. Uh, and I have several things on there. I'm going to be adding these. And then the last book that I did, or the last two, or last one, losing track of time. I'm putting that on there as well. I just haven't had time to upload it. I've been really busy. Now, this is our second Traveler's Notebook. Uh, oh, I just, I just love it. I bought this material at uh, oh, uh, Hobby Lobby a long time ago to make something for my daughter uh, or my, and or my granddaughter. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my daughter's in business. She's an interior designer. She's constantly writing and taking notes and whatever. 
Well, they have shutters that they need. So anyway, it's a real modern whatever. And this is Mrs. Cog's uh, download. In the in the tutorial, she provides downloads uh, for. Oh wait a minute, no, I'll take that back. I'm trying to think. I think her theme is teddy bears. I think. Oh dear. Oh, I can't remember. I apologize. I'm going to put her uh, how to get to her tutorials. Uh, down below, uh, which I did the last time. No, they're not teddy bears. I, uh, I think it's fashion. I think that's what she did was fashion. Well, it doesn't matter. This one I have called high fashion, and you'll see on the inside when I can. These are hers. These are hers because it had high fashion by Mrs. Cog or so. That's what I named this. Now, this is one of her. Uh, one of her. Uh, cut aparts and it also has been zigzagged all the way around with a close zigzag and this is also put on a piece backed with a piece of frayed uh, oh, uh, canvas canvas material also has the same kind of a, elastic tie and it has I've got just a little charm on the front there against one sided down below I just took a little piece of metal uh, which kind of looks modern and oh, not modern, but retro, on on the uh, canvas and just glued it on there for some additional ephemera. The the back part of it is, of course, plain. It's such a busy material. And, of course, uh, with the, uh, the grommets uh, and the elastic. Uh, so let's go inside. Uh, it's virtually the same. Uh, when I open it up, I made... Now, these pockets... Uh, are made out of uh, canvas as well with the same trim that I bought this at, at Hobby Lobby. Now I covered the outside is with the designer material. The inside I covered with plain canvas. The plain canvas, the same canvas that I used to back the photo. Uh, and then I stenciled on it. It was just real plain. Uh, and I did the same here and then I stenciled on that as well. And I think it's kind of fancy and it ties in with, with the theme of the book. Uh, let's go. And so there is the pocket. This is one of the advertisements out of the advertisement book that I have. And I've also backed it on some cardstock from Tim Holtz. In fact, I think I like the colors that correlated with the picture. I think it's Halloween. And that fits down in our pocket. Now, this is a letter. It's an envelope. It's an old envelope. I ordered online. See, I, I, I'm having a terrible time. Oh, there we go. Old envelope. It says National uh, Apprenticeship Act. First day deliberately. Deliberately. Delivery. Now, it's got dated 1962. But uh, there's a four cent stamp. First day issue. And then I, I put a little stopper on the back. And on the inside, I took some... This is um, baking paper that I just cut to size. It's got a little insignia, and I just folded it up. It's the, like tissue paper. I just thought it kind of lent itself to the old envelope. And then I just made a stop uh, with a piece of cardstock, and I stamped a little butterfly on him. Like, okay, there it is. And that fits down behind the picture. Now this also has three full inserts plus one file folder. So this is the first insert. Now there again, I have taken Mrs. Cox. I, I, these are bought. I made the inserts of the green paper on this one. These are bought inserts. I think I got them at Michael's. This is the first insert. It's just plain paper. Just plain paper. I one of Mrs. Cog's pictures out of the collection. I zigzagged around it on the machine and high fashion was at the bottom of, of her uh, uh, downloads. As I say, all the pictures and downloads come with the course. So that's why I called it high fashion and then I just cut that off and then I did some stenciling on the corners and whatever. Now this is the first insert uh, and when you open it up, 
then this has on the center of the first insert is um, a file folder. This is button. This is a Midori. This is a button Midori file folder. So I didn't make this one, but I did stencil on it, and I did put some. Uh, I put a. I made a tag. This is a tag out of some of Timmy's material, and I stenciled on the top of it, in the back. Covered the back of it because it was Halloween paper. I covered the back of it with cardstock, and this goes down in our little file folder. This is just one of the, the pictures from, oh, I think it's Mrs. Cobbs, one of her pictures. She's got so many things on there. This is the other side. Now, I took this paper. This is there again, part of Timmy's. It's got fuzzy paper on the back. And I just cut a big tag. You could write on it or whatever. And I rounded the corners. Uh, I didn't put any embellishments on it. You can put that in there. And this come out of the advertisement book that I have, Lobsters, and you could journal on the back of it, and it correlated with the period, the time. So this is on the inside of the first insert and the first elastic. This is the second insert, and again, I have done the same thing. I have uh, taken one of Mrs. Cox's pictures. I've zigzagged. It's hard to see because it's light thread. I zigzagged around uh, the canvas. I hand sewed three black buttons on it, and then down below is a piece of uh, of the canvas with a piece of lace with another one of Timmy's. Um, it says "Life, oh, li live in the moment." One of Tim's little metal plates. This is the back of that. It's my insignia, my G, and it's handmade, whatever. So this uh, is the second insert, and on inside. The second insert is the third insert, and this is the little check check paper. The other the other two inserts are plain paper, but all three inserts of the one I made is plain paper. Then on the back we have another pocket, and I've stenciled on. I love the way that's this is fabric. This is all fabric, and when you put this, it's it's a soft cover, but it's pretty substantial. And here's another pocket with the lace. Now, this is a, a tag I made some time ago. I've been making tons of them, and I just stenciled on it. This is uh, parchment cardstock. I think it's 65 pounds, and that goes in there. This is one of the advertisements out of my advertisement book. That book is, and it, it, there again, it holds with the times and with her premise. And then this is just a little piece of uh, paper. It was a cut off, and I just... I did stencil on top of it and put a grommet in it and some uh, seam binding. And of course, the back is just plain. I really, and I want to tell you, they're addictive. I'm going to put these on and I'm going to make some more. I hope they go well. Uh, if you're not a member, I mean, if you're not a follower of my, uh, of my, um, and see, I wish you would, and leave me a comment down below and a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Um, I've got a lot of nice followers, and I'm still trying to figure out. I don't have enough to come in at one time to sign up to, um, you know, do a giveaway, which I really want to do because I've got like almost 1,500 followers. So the upshot is they're going to be offered on Etsy and CapturedOnPaper.com. I haven't done a lot with them lately. I got two or three things to put up. But I, I have been active on, on that uh, side. It's a consignment shop side. And it's it's sponsored by uh, Kathy Orta of King. So here we go. I will leave Mrs. Cog's information down below. Uh, the other things, you know, are mine that I've had forever. The book and, you know, that type of thing. Uh, you can buy the inserts. Like uh, the inserts in this one I bought at... Uh, they're the same size. They fit a traveler standard size traveler's notebook. Uh, the, and I, I made the green ones that come out of this book. Uh, any questions, please ask me down below, and I'd be more than happy to try and answer them. And I appreciate you visiting. And as I say, if you give me a thumbs up and, and follow me, I would appreciate that as, as well. And the name of my, and I'll leave all the information down below, the name of my Etsy shop is Book Art Design, all one word book art design and uh
let me know that you're there. I have several on there now. Uh, and there again, captured on paper.com is all one word. I have several on there as well. So I'm going to leave you for right now and probably go back and make another one this evening. They're not hard to make. They're very easy. She gives a really nice course. She really does. I've taken them all now. Uh, I thought, oh, well, I've made, you know, I've made Traveler's uh, Notebooks, and I have. Uh, she makes them a little different. Now, she's embellished hers more and finished them, the in, and, and they're inserts. They're removable, uh, just like these. But she's made them a little bit more like a junk journal with, with tie-dyed paper, junk tie-dyed coffee dyed papers and whatever. I haven't done that. I've really kind of left these as uh, journals, traveler's notebooks to journal in, to take with you to, you know, do your things to do and your grocery lists and what you did that day. And, you know, you could set this up. You've seen many YouTube videos with, with people setting up their um, traveler's notebooks. I'm going to make some more of them and put them on there. And uh, so if you're interested, please visit. And, uh, uh, we'll go from there. So have a great uh, first week or first of your week and all next week and I will be back on the next video. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.